Number 68. Unreasonable results. Suppose you wish to shoot supplies straight up to astronauts in an orbit 36,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. A. At what velocity must the supplies be launched? All right. So here's a picture. We have to make a couple of assumptions. So I have the Earth in black, the uh, astronauts circling in their orbit in red, and the distance between the two is going to be 36,000 kilometers. So first thing, let me just convert that into meters. Right, so I just have to add essentially uh, three zeros, right? So 36,000 kilometers is the same thing as 36 million. 36 million, eh, let me write the zeros a little neater, right? 36 million uh, meters, okay? So the first thing is this is essentially, right, the height, or that's how far they have to be launched, okay? They're going to be launched from Earth at this particular location, so they should have a certain initial velocity, right, to uh, to overcome gravity. So the initial velocity in the y direction should be some value, and that's what we're looking for. Now, the assumption we have to make here, when it finally reaches orbit, I would assume that they would want it to be uh, stationary, right? So the final velocity here in the y direction should be zero, okay? Now, uh, remember that we're shooting it out of Earth's uh, gravitational field, and therefore we have to also account for the acceleration due to gravity of negative 9.80, right, meters per second squared. So now, um, if we look at the values we have, or and what we need to find, we realize that we can use equation number four on the upper right-hand side to help solve. So the final velocity in the y direction squared should be equal to the initial velocity, oops, in the y direction squared, uh, plus two times the acceleration in the y direction multiplied by the displacement in the y direction. So the final velocity is zero. The initial velocity is what we're trying to find, plus two times the acceleration due to gravity of negative 9.80, and then the y value is we gotta travel 36 million um, meters. So I'm gonna just convert that into scientific notation, so it should be 3.6 times 10 to the seven uh, meters, all right? So let's just clean this up a little bit. So this is zero is equal to the initial velocity in the y value uh, in the y direction squared. And that's going to now be minus, right? So we're going to take two times 9.8 times 3.6 times 10 to the seven. And we get a value of seven point, what do we get? 7.06 times 10 to the, I had to count all these zeros, eight. Okay, times 10 to the 8. Then simply add this on over right to the other side. So plus 7.06 times 10 to the 8 plus 7.06 times 10 to the 8. I'll just put a little line down here so we don't get uh, too confused with the two sets of numbers. All right. Now uh, the problem winds up being so 7.06 times 10 to the 8 will equal the initial velocity in the y direction squared. Simply take the square root to find just the initial velocity in the y. Remember, anytime you take the square root of something, you get a positive and negative answer. So therefore, square root of 7.06 times 10 to the 8. And we get a value of 2.66. 2.66 times 10 to the 3, 4. Times 10 to the 4 uh, meters per second. Now, what value should it be, plus or minus? Well, since it's going up, it's traveling upwards, uh, we would give it a positive value, all right? So let's just erase this, and we'll just leave it in terms of the positive. Okay, so that's the velocity. Now, all right, so then it says, what is unreasonable about this velocity? Um, well, I mean, A, it's a large velocity, but that's not the problem. The problem is that uh, in terms of our calculation, we assumed, right, that our acceleration due to gravity here is constant. That was the assumption, but that assumption is wrong, right? The higher you go, the further from Earth's center you go, the gra gravitational force will decrease, and therefore the acceleration due to gravity will also decrease, right? Eventually you get into space where there is no real pull of the Earth anymore, at least to a noticeable point. It's negligible. Uh, so therefore, to, to use this constant value in our calculation of negative 9.80 for the whole distance is problematic, right? Because this is essentially a function of distance. It changes, so that's a problem. Okay, then it says, letter C, is there a problem with the relative velocity between the supplies and the astronauts when the supplies are reaching, you know, their maximum height? So, you know, think about this. The supplies go, take a look at the picture. As the supplies, right, are moving towards uh, the orbit, 
right? And the astronauts are now moving around, right? Their orbit at a certain speed. They're not stationary. Um, they're going to be moving with, you know, some uh, some velocity. Um, the 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 issue now becomes if 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 the uh, supplies now reach a point at which they're not moving anymore, but the astronauts are still traveling, right? The velocity of then the astronauts relative to the package will be something. Right? It's going to be probably some large number. Um, so how, how do you how do you now catch essentially, you know, an object that is moving? I don't know thousands of meters per second relative to yourself. I have a hard time catching a baseball thrown at seventy five miles an hour. So I I, I don't know how to <laughs> I wouldn't know how to catch that. Nor would we, I don't know how would we, we would create um, a, a machine to catch that, right? It would be a collision problem of some sort. We'd have to launch it with some relative velocity, assuming, by the way, my assumption is that the astronauts are not orbiting the Earth at the, at the same uh, uh, revolutionary speed that the Earth is rotating at. Because otherwise, then it, it really wouldn't be too much of a problem. But that's the issue there. And then letter D, it says, is the premise unreasonable or is the available equation inapplicable? I mean, is the premise unreasonable? Yeah, I think both the premise is unreasonable. The The equation isn't unreasonable, but we would have to probably adapt it because, like I said, the acceleration is really a function of distance, so we'd probably have to do a little calculus here to figure it out. But anyway, guys, that should answer it. Hopefully that helps. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.